Maine Coon vs. Quarot Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? A Maine Coon is a big, rugged cat with a smooth, shaggy coat who looks as if they could put in a full day mousing on a farm in all weather conditions. Indeed, they were built for just such work in the harsh Maine climate, and their breed standard reflects their heritage, calling for a medium-sized to large cat with a well-proportioned body that is muscular and broad-chested. A Maine Coon has substantial, medium-length legs and large, round paws, well tufted with fur, to serve as snowshoes during winter. A heavy coat is shorter on the shoulders, longer on the stomach and breeches, long fur on the upper hind legs, with a rough in front and a long, furry tail waving a greeting. A medium width head is slightly longer than it is wide and has a squarish muzzle. Large, well tufted ears are wide at the base, tapering to a point, and large, expressive eyes are green, gold, greenish gold, or copper. White or bi colored Maine Coons may have blue or odd eyes. The brown tabby pattern is so common in this breed that many people don't know Maine Coons can come in any other colors or patterns. They might be surprised to learn that Maine Coons are found in solid colors that include black, red, or white, all tabby colors and patterns, by colors such as blue and white or red and white, and patterns such as tortoiseshell and calico. With his silver-tipped blue coat and huge green eyes, as sparkling as the dewdrops on a lotus leaf the Korat is one of Thailand's most beautiful exports. He is noted as well for his heart-shaped head, large ears, and alert expression. A Korat's eyes are blue at birth. As he matures, the eyes turn to amber, the pupil surrounded by a fringe of the green. By the time the cat is two to four years old, the eyes have become the brilliant green for which the breed is known. The short single coat has hairs that are a light blue at the roots, then deepen, ending in a silver tip, producing a halo effect. Unlike some breeds, the coat has its silver blue color from the time kittens are born, although kittens may have what are known as ghost tabby markings. These should disappear with maturity. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The good natured and affable Maine Coon adapts well to many lifestyles and personalities. They like being with people and have the habit of following them around, but they aren't needy. They're happy to receive attention when you direct it their way, but if you're busy, they're satisfied to just supervise your doings. Close a door on them and they will wait patiently for you to realize the error of your ways and let them in. They're not typically lapping cats, but they do like to be near you. No rodents will be safe in a home where a Maine Coon resides. Even if you don't have any mice for them to chase, they'll keep their skills sharp by chasing toys and grabbing them with their big paws. A Maine Coon also enjoys playing fetch and will retrieve small balls, toys, or wadded up pieces of paper. They can climb as well as any cat but usually prefer to stay on ground level. That's where their work is, after all. They're also very smart and will happily learn tricks or play with puzzle toys that challenge their brain. Maine Coons usually enjoy a kittenish love of play well into adulthood. Males, especially, are prone to silly behavior. Females are more dignified, but they aren't above a good game of chase. Not especially vocal, they make any requests in a soft chirp or trill. The smart and opinionated Korat is possessive of his people. He likes to stay close by and won't desert them for visitors. He gives his heart to one or two people whose company he prefers, or with whom he spends the most time, but he's certainly willing to accept affection from others as well. Be aware of this propensity before you get a Korat, just in case having a cat follow you around all the time would drive you crazy. A Korat is not a loner. He does best with companionship, whether that is someone who works at home or another animal. There's a reason, it seems, that traditionally they were always given in pairs. A Korat who is frequently left alone or ignored may develop behavior problems such as aggression or separation anxiety. That's not to say that adult Korats can't switch their affections. Cats placed in new homes quickly adapt and bond closely with their new family. This is an energetic cat who enjoys learning tricks, playing fetch and even walking on a leash. It's easy to teach household rules to the Korat if you reward him with petting, a happy good cat or a treat. Limit corrections to a loud no. Or hand clap. If you have multiple cats, be sure you have plenty of toys to go around. The Korat did not learn to share in the kitty garden, and he can be stubborn about giving up toys or other objects that he views as his. Although he can be bold with definite likes and dislikes, the Korat is generally a quiet cat who likes a quiet environment. Although he's not known for being talkative, he is capable of making many different sounds, from a chirp to a scream, when he wants to get his point across. Choose the Korat if you enjoy having a lap cat. He will be pleased to fulfill this desire anytime you like. Despite the length of the Maine Coon's coat, 
It has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily, if you groom it regularly. It is easily cared for with twice weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Useful grooming tools include a stainless steel comb for removing tangles and what's called a grooming rake to pull out the dead undercoat, which is what causes tangles when it's not removed. Use it gently, especially in the stomach area and on the tail. Maine Coons are patient, but they don't like having their hair pulled any more than you do. Check the tail for bits of poop stuck to the fur and clean it off with a baby wipe. Bathe a Maine Coon as needed, which can range from every few weeks to every few months. If their coat feels greasy or their fur looks stringy, they need a bath. The Korat's short single coat requires little grooming. Comb it weekly to remove any dead hairs. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean as well. It's a good idea to keep them as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The friendly, laid-back Maine Coon is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They love the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect, and they don't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. Karats will appreciate the attention of a child who treats them respectfully, and they enjoy playing and learning tricks. With proper supervision, they can be a good companion for children. Like many cats that originated in Southeast Asia, Karats tend to prefer other Karats. They can get along with other cats, and with dogs, but they expect to have pride of place. This may or may not go over well with other animals. The Korat likes to have company, however, and if he spends a lot of time with another cat or dog, they will likely become close friends. They're happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.